Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good. I'm sorry I don't have a microphone yet. I will get one soon. Um, so literally I have everything I need to do this video inside the Sephora bag just to make it easier. Um, I'm not going to do like a huge amount of makeup just because I'm not really going anywhere today. And I just applied moisturizer so I'm making sure all of that is set into my skin. So usually... I use like this was actually on one of my chocolate bar um, palettes that I had I think it was Tarte I can't remember what was the brand but Ava broke it off so I use this but since I'm doing this I guess I'll just use you guys today is my mirror um, I have my Itsy Ritzy bag with some of my products in there Ooh. brushes I just cleaned my brushes like a week ago so they look dirty, but I promise you, I clean them out pretty frequently. And these are nothing special. I just got them off of Amazon when I got married. They're not like main brand or anything. Um, so the only brushes I plan to use for this video are these right here. This is for bronzing and contouring. This is for translucent powder. Um, this is my highlighter one right here. This, or these three are all for eyeshadow. Um, I like to use the fluffier ones to blend, blend, blend. And then this is the one that I put with pigmentation. So, we're going to go ahead and set those over here. I have my horribly broken apart um, beauty blender, which I'm planning to buy some new ones this weekend. But I don't really use this too often. I kind of just use my fingers. But if I need to, I, I have it there. Um, my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette, which is pretty much almost done with. Then I have all my new makeup that I already showed you guys. So we have all that. Just to get this going. So um, I have a little bit of this. This is called Derma Glow Glow Creator. I usually mix this in with my BB cream. I'm going to be using Fetching from Foca Allure. I got this off of, I think it was Amazon when I ordered the brushes. I can't remember. I ordered so much makeup that month or so for my wedding. Um, so I have that. You guys already know I have Peach Perfect to set my face. Um, I kept everything in the boxes for now. Urban Decay All Night Long Lasting Spray uh, just to set everything and then of course I'll be using these today the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and Born This Way Concealer and then for eyes I have another Ulta palette um, and then I have Beauty Benefits Contour Palette and the Highlight Palette I also use the Illuminator so I'm going to show you guys how I do this so I always cover myself with a towel because I tend to get makeup everywhere. And we are going to get started. So I didn't apply primer because I don't have any more. So I have to get that. I forgot to get that when I went to Sephora. Um, but first I'm just going to start off with the CC cream. So I literally don't use a lot. I don't like heavy feeling you know, the feeling of heavy makeup on my face. I don't know why, I just really can't stand that feeling. So, um, I'm literally just using like this much. And I kind of just like, you know, dot it like this. I love the way this stuff smells though, guys. And I'm literally just gonna blend it in with my fingers. Um, Some people say you should use a makeup brush or a beauty blender if it does that lighting. Sorry, it's every time I turn towards the sun, it does that. Um, so I always make sure that my moisturizer is good because I get these little flakes if it's not, which it wasn't fully dry, so that kind of sucked. But I always do one coat first because it's buildable. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna do one more time, but as you guys can see, it's kind of already evened out my skin. And then I have everything for my brows and stuff in here, so I'll show you guys that part too. But I'm gonna just do a little bit more of the CC cream. Um, just to give it one more layer. And that will be it for that part. So, put that back in my bag. Um, and then I'm just gonna literally dot a little bit of this Derma Blend. This is, I always do this on the second if I do two layers, and I just do a little bit like that much and I mix it together just to kind of give me an extra glow I get up all up in my eye corner because I'm a mom so I get tired often and I kind of do put it on my eye uh, or my eyelid part Same thing, just all over my face. Now, now that I've done that, it's hard to see because I've never done my makeup in a camera before. So I'm just gonna take my mirror real quick. And I'm just going to kind of go over it with my beauty blender. It's not damp right now. So don't come for me like all you beauty people. I don't do this. I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is just how I do my makeup. I do damp my beauty blender if I need it. But I just kind of do it just to like pat everything. And that's pretty much it. So now that I've done that part, I'm literally going to take my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I know a lot of YouTube people also love to link everything for you guys. I am not going to link everything. Um, I got all this stuff at Sephora pretty much outside of uh, my Ulta palettes. Those are at Ulta. So if you guys are wanting to try a product that I have show in this video, Sephora and Ulta will be your best friends and I will say the names of the products it's just a lot of work to link everything like that so literally for my eyes I go in a triangle and I know that seems like it's a lot but I'm gonna blend 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 sorry it washed me out right there it's the natural lighting I'm sitting in front of my kitchen window um, and I'm gonna drag that down because I'm gonna cover that red mark Ooh. And then um, I get little red marks right here. So I just kind of do that. I know that looks so crazy. Um, sometimes I'll cover my birthmark. For the sake of the video, I'll show you guys. And then I had this one little red mark that was right there. And I'll do a little concealing right there. And that's pretty much all the concealing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that back in the box for now until I get a new makeup bag and then I'm going to take everything out. So for this, I do use the Beauty Blender. And I'm not going to, again, do it damp because I want it dry for these parts. And I just use the pointed part of the blender. And I literally just pat it in. I try not to rub it very much because I really want it to be pigmented right here because I'm tired. You can tell. Um, I get red underneath my nose. So I just do the whole area right here. <laughs> and if you guys hear stuff in the background, I have the TV on for the... Uh, Kelly and Ryan show. I think they're hysterical in the morning, so I do watch that show. And I literally just blend, blend, blend. I'll probably speed this clip up for you guys um, when I edit this, but like I used to be very insecure about my birthmark that I have right there. So many people, even my dad, has always like been like, I don't know why you just, you know, don't get it checked out. And I have, 
uh, what the doctor has looked it over and they're not very concerned about it. Um, the only thing they are concerned about was my mole on my underarm. They wanted me to have that checked out. Um, so I'm planning to do that soon. But I don't really... I don't know. My birthmark has been a part of me for so long. I used to be so insecure. Covered it with makeup all the time. Um, for the sake of the video, I did it just to show you guys if I did do it. But I really don't care to do it. You guys see how that like just brought my face to life like so I just blend 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 and then that little spot right there okay I forgot a spot right there guys Can you sit down, baby kick? Baby's right next to me, guys, in the playpen. She's, oh, sorry, I had to crack my neck. She's right here. I know some people be like, don't crack your neck, but I do that often because I know what I'm doing, so um, don't come for me for that either. Some people be like, you shouldn't crack your neck or your knuckles, but I do, and I have never hurt myself doing it, so. Um, when you've been in the medical field, you just know where to do it, how to do it, like, anyway. So that's good, right there. I'm going to literally just let that sit in for a few minutes. While I do that, I work on my brows. So, for my brows, I, there it is. I'm going to use my, um, Soap and Glory Archery Brow Al Almighty Brow Pencil, and this is in the color Love is Blonde. Uh, my eyebrows turn blonde in the summer, like half blonde, half brown. So I just use that. And then this is from Ulta. It's their brow tenting. So the first thing I do is go through my brows, and I brush through them. Sorry, I just needed to fix that part right there. Um, so I literally just brush through them the first time. I'm gonna do this twice. Cause I like to brush through them before I, I fill them in, which I don't even really need to fill them in because my brows are, uh, oh gosh guys, I hear all that tension in myself. Like, uh, my brows are naturally full. Um, so this is what it looks like. I literally just go over it lightly with a light hand. Just like that. And then I just at the end. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Um, just to kind of like even out the color that I have in them. And then I take the Ulta Brow Gen uh, Gel Tint. And I do it again. And I just go back over it. I like my brows to kind of go in an upward fashion. I like them looking a little unruly. That's the whole point. Um, I used to be into that like really short, thin brow look. Which I need to get my brows done again soon. But um, I just tweeze them for now. So that's what that looks like. And I always do my brows after I do my face. Um, before I do my eyeshadow which is gonna be next so literally if I didn't talk to you guys I would be through this in like five minutes or so so for my eyes I'm gonna take my beauty blender or beauty benefits um, highlight powder and I literally use this color right here and I just go over my entire eyelid I'm going to use my mirror for this, guys, just because I don't want to mess up my brows. So, just like that. Like that. And then I will take my finger and I just lightly... 
down in the middle part. Like that. And I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, to be real with you guys. Um, it's just never been my style. So I'm going to take my blending brush. And I think I'm just going to use something from this palette today. I'll probably just go with a little bit of Valentine right here. Which is like a really pretty kind of brown shimmery color. And I just do it right here to the crease. And that's pretty much it for that. Same thing. And that's just going to be that part. And then for the last part, I'm going to use suede, which is this color right here that I hardly ever use, but I do like it for in the crease area. And I literally just do that. Oh, this mama needs a massage, guys. I can feel the tension in my neck and back from not sleeping. So, that's my eyes. I'm literally done. Like, um, I'm not really a big eye person. Like I said, that's my highlighter brush. This is my blending brush. I can tell the difference because I use them every day or every other day or whatever. So, I literally just blend because I like a very natural eye look. Like that. And that's that. So my eyes are done. Um, I don't even need this other Elsa palette that I took out because I'm not going to do that. And I just realized that I forgot this little mark right here. I put it down, but then like when I drew the, tri the triangle, but I completely missed that spot doing this for you guys. So I'm literally just going to take a little bit more of the Born This Way concealer and just cover that spot because I just noticed it when I was looking in the mirror. Um, so I'm going to do that with my finger this time. And then I'm going to take the beauty blender and I'm just going to lightly around it and I'm not like one of those people that my eyes crease really fast like you know the concealer so I let it you know kind of sit into my skin before I set it yeah that's much better okay so now that that part's done I don't really need that I'm done with the eyeshadow palette I'm going to set my face with my regular brush. This is going to be kind of a long video, guys, but I'm just kind of telling you guys step by step instead of just like speeding through it and just going like product like and showing it. Um, I really like this stuff. I love the way it smells. This is what it looks like. It's called Peach Perfect. It smells like peaches. Um, I'm literally going to, I usually, Ava be quiet, about like that. She always has something to say when she's on the tablet, you guys, um, which I'm just letting her do the tablet so I can get through this video, but she always has something to say when somebody, like she wants it silent when she's on the tablet, like I'm sorry, Queen Elizabeth, but I don't care right now. Um, so I start with my eyes. and kind of move down like that. And I never rub, like some people blend like that. I don't do that. Um, I tap it in and that's it. I feel like when I rub it, I just mess up everything I've done. So I literally just go through lightly, you know, dab it on.
And then I do the same thing up here. And that's that, there's that part. So I just close the lid, put that back. I always wipe off the excess um, powder and stuff. So that's the Peach Perfect, sorry guys, Too Faced translucent powder so I kind of let that sit for a second I highlight and I blush um, before I do anything else and I'm just gonna go real quickly back through with the mirror just to make sure drag down to my neck a little bit and that's pretty much that part so now I'm going to do highlights and contouring before I set it all with my spray um, and mascara, but I don't even know if I put my mascara in here, guys. Nope, I didn't. So I'll have to get that out of my purse. Um, so for the sake of the video, I'll do that as soon as I can. So to start with the contour, I'm literally going to take this one right here. And I'm just gonna go right here in the same spot like you would highlight but I highlight too and I'll show you guys what I'm saying in a second um, and I only do that in the nose right here and right here that's it then I take this brown color and I literally right here right here right there same thing right here you guys can see that right here the bridge of my nose and right here and that's that so after that part's done I use the same brush for everything except for to highlight my nose and right there with my highlighter powder which I will do after this part. This is the illuminator. I literally love this stuff. I got this from Ulta. I just use about like that much, you know, just a little circle or whatever. And I do it right here. Kind of to just illuminate my cheek area, if that makes sense. Then I highlight. So for today, I'm going to use the same highlighting powder that I used for my eyes. Highlighting brush. And I just, right here. In the corner right there again. Down the bridge of my nose like this. And I do the tip a little bit right here. And drag it out. Same thing on this side. And then I take it and I just do a little bit right here. And that's that. That's all I do. That's done. And look at that, guys. I'm like, had I not chatted away in my life with you guys, I probably would have already been done. But Hey, this will be like a 30 minute video, whatever. You guys seem to like long videos. So for uh, blush, I'm gonna use the Fetching. It's a very pretty kind of pink pigmented color, if you guys can see that. I use the same brush, I know, for everything, but I find it works best for me. I only go into it once because the stuff is very pigmented and I shake off the excess a little bit. And I don't rub. I literally just pat um, a little bit more because I kind of shook off too much excess. And I 
gonna do the tip of my nose too. And then that's that. So since I went through that pretty quickly, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to catch any fallout that may have came out. And that's pretty much that. So I do some mascara and a setting spray. So let me grab my mascara for my first scar. the last part of this video I'm gonna use the Great Lash by Maybelline this is the waterproof um, and I'm gonna start with my bottom lashes like that I let that dry for a second and then I go up into my top lashes no, I don't have eyelash extensions. This is my real natural eyelashes. So the first coat, I just kind of like separate my lashes, you know, because at nighttime they get all crusty. So I just separate like that, if you guys see that. Then the second coat, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna really pump those babies up. So, I'll let that sit for a second. Now, I'm going to go into the top lash. I don't do the bottom, a second coat for the bottom. I literally, if you guys can see that wiggle movement I'm doing at the base of my lashes, I wiggle up. See that? See the difference when I wiggle it? It makes them look like I have on false lashes or like eyelash extensions, but I don't. These are my real lashes. I was just graciously blessed by Jesus. So, same difference. I literally, or same thing, difference, whatever. Um, nothing different on this side. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ava, what are you doing? All right, you're laying down? Okay, she's laying down watching her tablet, guys. I don't really do a lot of screen time, but when I'm doing videos, it's helpful. And then the last part right there, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I go back. Luckily, I didn't get any mascara too much, and that's what they look like. So that's literally like my makeup routine. Um, it took 28 minutes for this video, but that's because I'm talking to you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter 16 Hour Spray. Um, obviously, I never wear makeup for 16 hours, but hey, it still is a great spray I've heard. And I'm just going to literally and that is it my darlings that is how I get ready when I actually do my makeup and get ready for the day um, and this is my finalized look so it's just super natural. Um, I'm not really into a lot of heavy looking makeup. I don't line my eyelash or my eyeliner. I don't line my eyes with eyeliner because I feel like my lashes are big enough that I don't need that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's just a weird angle because it's on my tripod. But uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I haven't put on my wedding ring yet, guys, because 
obviously I'm doing my face. I don't want makeup all over my rings. Um, but I'm about to go put that on. That's the final step of me getting ready for the day. And I'm going to edit this video and upload it for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end out this vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new or if you guys have yet to do so already. And I will see you guys in my next one.